go to Roy in Montana. Roy, you're on the air with Max Kaiser. Well, thanks for taking my call, Brother Alex. Mr. Kaiser, good to talk to you. Uh, my question is, I can't really afford gold, and obviously it's going to go way up. Uh, do you think silver would be a good investment um, for somebody who can't afford gold, or do you just at this point just invest in... You're talking you know, to Mr. Silver right now, uh, Max. Yeah, silver, of course. They call it the poor man's gold. It's basically the same thing as owning gold. It'll, it'll operate the same thing. You know, gold and silver now more and more are being considered a currency. The commodity, uh, the CME in Chicago, the C Commodity Mercantile Exchange, just announced today that they are accepting gold as collateral. That means for the first time now, these commodity futures operations who are part of the banking system, they, they are so distrustful of the banks themselves that they are violating this idea that gold is somehow not a money. They're saying now gold is a currency. We will take gold as collateral. So gold is seeping its way into the economy. It's being monetized slowly but surely. It is the only thing that's going to be left standing. 5,000 years of history will tell you that. Silver is just as good as gold in this environment. If you don't want to buy pure silver, you can buy junk silver, which is 90% silver. You know, the 1964 or previous... Everybody dollars. knows what those coins are. And when all this paper fully goes down, people are going to still be transacting. It's going to be whiskey, cigarettes, silver, gold, bullets, firearms, food, people that know how to fix things, trades... Uh, I, mean, I mean, that's where it's at. Yeah, well, Stacy, my uh, fiance, soon to be wife, you know, she has thousands of these miniature bottles of whiskey from the uh, airplanes that she's going to use as currency, she says. By the way, Max, uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of whiskey and stuff, uh, obviously not drinking, and it's, but I, I'm joking, but I do have a bunch of whiskey and stuff. I mean, I, I, I know that there's a good chance all this is going to happen. I hope it doesn't, but, sir, I hope that answers your question. It, it does, and I and, and one quick follow-up, what, what would that do with a person with a mortgage? I mean, uh, if the dollar tanks and, you know, you owe your mortgage in dollars, I mean, how does that affect the average homeowner? Well, sometimes, well, I mean, Max, you answer it. Go ahead. Well, theoretically, you, you inflate the mortgage value away, and it's quote-unquote good for the homeowner, but I think we're in an environment where there's so much economic dislocation and there's so many other variables at play here that it's not worth it in that sense. But, you I mean, your, your point is well taken. It's a good point. But there are other things to consider. And real estate as a class of investment is problematic for a number of reasons. You know, you have the, the society breaking down. You don't know different neighborhoods today could suddenly become war zones next week. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things happening. But your point is well taken. It's a good point, and I can't, you know, say it's not a good point. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Let's go to Jay in Texas. You're on the air, Jay. Hey, 